like so many points of light in the infinity of time, like so many specks of dust giving birth to the visions of tomorrow. Our past was inscribed here. So will be our future. David Ben-Gurion dreamed of a university at the desert's edge that would tap the energy of a new nation. Ben-Gurion University of the Negev is realizing that vision. Its people are scientists and physicians, scholars, educators, and researchers, exploring the frontiers of knowledge. They're new immigrants and veteran Israelis, Jews, Muslims, and Christians, immersed in a sea of history. People from Israel and around the world, shaping the future. In this sophisticated research complex, they're working at the leading edge of science. This is nanotechnology, forging a relationship with the tiniest building blocks of our universe. We are trying to talk to atoms. That's what we do in our lab. The size of single atoms is 0.1 nanometer, nanometer being a billionth of a meter. We take a single atom, and we're actually building a dictionary from human language to atom language. That knowledge can lead to impressive discoveries. Ben-Gurion University researchers dream of tiny robots to repair our bodies. Materials so light and strong we could build an elevator to outer space. Computers far more powerful than anything known today. Solar energy and desalination so efficient they could truly turn the deserts green. Ron Fullman's quest for knowledge never ends. He's one of many talented researchers drawn back to Israel by the university from promising careers abroad. Coming back to Israel is coming back home. Uh, this is my home. I love this land. Uh, I love the rocks. I love the soil. I come down to the desert uh, because it has so many intriguing things in it. So this is a real completion of the circle. And for me, it's, it's a fascinating journey. Reaching and exceeding the limits, they're at the core of this university's character. On campuses in Beersheba, Stable Care, and Elat, in the natural sciences and medicine, business management, engineering, and the humanities, its people are focused on new horizons. As they look forward, they also reach out to the people of Beersheba and the Negev. More than a third of all Ben-Gurion University students volunteer in the community. Pharmacy student Magali Majal spends several hours each week with a 10-year-old boy named Sneer, providing help he can't get at home. The university really encourages volunteering to raise the level of the city and to contribute to its people. It's very successful. I would say that it's the university with a heart and a mission. People are devoted, committed, whether to university or to Israel in general. Now we are considered the best undergraduate university in Israel. We have many, many candidates that choose us over other universities. The mission now is to strengthen uh, graduate studies to make Ben Gurion University a leading research institute. Excellence means preparing a new generation of leaders steeped in knowledge and rooted in enduring human values. The university's Joyce and Irving Goldman Medical School at the Faculty of Health Sciences leads the way in research and clinical practice, while its Medical School for International Health in collaboration with Columbia University attracts students from leading schools abroad. It takes on the challenge of health education and disease prevention in harsh surroundings. Rania Okpi takes that challenge personally. As she brings health care to Bedouin tribes in the northern Negev, she's realizing a childhood dream. When I was six, I, I was, uh, you know, people used to ask me, what do you want to be? And I wanted to be a pediatrician because I did, I, I loved, I loved my, my doctor and because um, I saw a lot of kids around me. 
With large families and many hereditary ailments, Israel's Bedouins have special needs, not always met by existing health services. I wanted to help people when they're, when they're sick. I wanted to help people when they need help. And I'm not talking only about medication. When a person is sick, he needs someone to listen to or someone who can relate it to his pain or to his sickness. So I really wanted to be a part of this. That was her dream. In realizing it, she made history. Her patients and their families may not know it, but Rania Okbi, a graduate of Ben Gurion University's Joyce and Irving Goldman Medical School, is the first Bedouin woman ever to become a doctor. The Ben Gurion University did something very special to the Bedouin. Seven years ago, there were only five female students at the Ben Gurion University. Now we have about 200 female students. For nearly 500 Bedouin students, Ben Gurion University of the Negev is a source of new horizons. That's what Ben Gurion University is all about giving shape and substance to the future. There's a pioneering spirit here. There's a lot of dynamics here, and there's an enormous feeling of enthusiasm. There's a strong culture. As much as has been done, there's a lot to do here. And I think one of the benefits of being a supporter here, whether it's financially or otherwise, is you can see the results of the fruit of your labor. Ben Gurion University of the Negev, turning vision into deeds.